Hello fellow YouTubers. Okay, I'm just going to make a quick video um, showing you how to remove um, a chip that's really too small to get an iron on. Um, now you could use a hot air gun. But as you can see we've got a, a plastic socket here. This is the chip that we're going to be removing. And there's a plastic socket here so we don't really want to use a hot air gun. Now I'm not a great fan of hot air guns personally. Um, I'm still um, solder sucker and soldering iron, so I'm just going to show you a, a quick way that you can uh, can remove a chip from a board um, quite simply. Now basically what you do is you get a piece of um, copper wire, now this here is 2.5 millimeter copper wire and you bend it into a square like so. Or an oblong depending on the size of your chip so and then when you bent it into the square shape peel it apart a little bit so that you can fit it over the chip so let's just have a look see now this one i think is a little bit big yeah, let's find that one so we'll put it over the chip and i'm just move down here a bit so you can see what i'm doing and i just need to straighten the uh, the ends out on that because it's it's uh, you probably can't see it in the video when it's on a flat surface it curls up just a little bit on this end and we don't want that curling up because we want it to be flat onto the uh, the terminals so i'm just going to um, just straighten that piece out just a little bit like so and just check again yeah that looks fine so what we'll do is we'll um this is the chip here that we're removing so we put that over the chip now unfortunately i can't zoom in any closer with this camera um it just goes very blurry otherwise i would um, get as close as i could with it but basically what i've done i've put the um the copper thing over there let's just see if i can uh, bring you in there just a little bit closer okay as you can see i've, I've placed the copper uh, over the chip so it's on the um, both sides of the terminal so it's covering all the terminals what we're going to do we're going to apply a bit of heat to the top of that apply a little bit of solder and that will effectively heat the legs upon the chip um, on both sides at once allowing me to then lift it up now I'm not sure I've got my uh, tweezers ready to lift it I can get in with those yeah that's fine Okay, so now I'm using a fairly uh, hefty iron. Um, this is a 60 watt that I'm, that I'm going to use. Now, basically, the, um, the purpose of this video is, is just to show you that you can remove a chip without any specialist tools, um, hot air guns and things. Now, as I say, we have got a plastic socket on here that we don't want to melt. So, again, this is another reason for doing it. Now, when I replace the chip with the other one i will use a lot smaller iron and i don't know if you can see the iron tip quite big on this um but i will use a lot smaller iron um and possibly a microscope to see the terminals but um you'll see the basic principle so what i've done i've just um, tinned the uh, the tip i'm just going to place it on top of the uh, the copper now so that's just heating up and I just tin the top of the copper and I'm just going to run a piece across the, um, the bottom of the copper on the one side where the terminals are and the same on the other and that will just allow it for the heat to transfer and I'll just be able to see when we've reached melting point on both ends <laughs> that's pretty close now just, uh, there you go. Take the um, the tweezers. And as you can see, we lift the chip, and that's the chip off the board can't see it very well there that's the chip off of the board now and there's um, 
no damage to the chip not that we're going to be using that chip again um, and there's no damage to the board apart from it just wants a bit of a clean up and there's the ouch still very hot is the copper that we use to um, to remove the chip so basically all we do now is we just get a small iron and um, a braided wire and we'll just rub that across the terminals and the same on this side braided wire we'll rub it across the terminals and that will give us clean terminals ready to solder a new chip on okay i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching don't forget to favorite and like uh, if you want to see more videos okay we'll uh, we'll see you again thanks for watching